Hold it. Don't move. I've got a gun pointed to the back of your head, and I will not hesitate to pull the trigger. Listen, I'm asking the questions here. You answer me, and you do not lie. Understand? What's your name? How long have you been here? Why? No. Everyone comes here for a reason. It's not a whim of fate. It's not an unlucky draw. If you're here, it's because you've done something. Something you need to atone for. Do not lie to me. Fine. Put your hands behind your back. Do it. Don't try anything funny. I'm going to tie you up and bring you with me. You will do exactly as I say, when I say. Do you understand? Good. I'm the only way you survive this place. Get moving. We're going somewhere safe. Well, there are safe places. Just few and far between and hidden very well. You wouldn't be able to get to one if you didn't have me guiding you. So don't think about running off. We don't have much time before the shift. You've seen it, haven't you? The shift. When everything peels away to reveal the hillscape wriggling right underneath the flesh of this town. When those things grow twisted and vile out of the shadows. <laughs> oh well. I hate to break it to you. But that wasn't a dream. A nightmare, certainly. But a very real one. You still need to watch out for the leftovers, while the town's dormant. Not everything melts back into darkness. Some places are more populated than others. I recommend staying away from the hospital, no matter how hard. And the squirrels. Well, I can't say that I don't agree with you. It's all pretty crazy. But this is the reality here. So you better get used to it. And you better pay attention to what I tell you. Come on. This is the place. We'll go around. Like I said, unless you knew it was here, it's hard to find. Back up against the far wall and turn around. I'm going to hook you up into this chain. I don't trust you enough to cut you loose, but at the very least, you'll be able to move around more freely. You can relax on that cot there. Have you eaten? All right. Well, this one is one of my safe houses. This one's not in my usual rotation, but I keep them all stocked anyway, just in case. Here, eat. Maybe it'll help you remember. 
What is this one? Well, now that's a loaded question. I tend to think of it as a purgatory of sorts. Hmm. Do you think if I knew how to leave, I'd still be here? I've heard it's possible. But it's not likely. You only get out if it lets you out. Has it wanted to let me out yet? I've been here for a year, I think. Maybe two. I don't know exactly. Time gets distorted. Don't start freaking out yet. I've been watching you for the past few days. I've seen people come through. They usually don't make it. And due to some past circumstances, I'm rather content with leaving them be. Something's different about you, though. I don't know what it is. And, to be honest, that irks me a little. I've been spending a lot of my time studying this place. And just when I think I've got a better understanding, it throws something new in. I think it enjoys watching me flounder around. I think I entertain it, which is why it hasn't let me leave. Why don't you get some rest, and we'll talk more in the morning. The shift will come in a few hours. We'll be safe here, but I guarantee you won't want to be sleeping during the other. How do I know? Well, I can just feel it. Like static in the air. Like when you know it's about to rain. You'll get in tune with it. I'm going to close my eyes as well. You should take that to mean I am not in the slightest worried that you're a threat to me. Don't try anything stupid. You were lucky to have made it through once. But now it knows you're here. This room, with me, is the safest place you could possibly be. Rest up. It'll be a long night.